times between us. I said, well, how many times individually have you seen him? They both said, 17. So we went on the trip uh, to uh, Florida, and their bus watched it like five times, and then Lisa's my bus, we, we, we each watched it once, and we said, yeah, this is pretty good. Let's check it out. You know, I think we can make kind of a show of this. And so we said, great. When we got to meet in January, we thought, okay, this is nice. There's some nice contrast stuff. We could just do a whole great showman thing. Good. And we finished eating lunch, and then everything was happy. And so we sent it off to our, our person that's writing the drill and the music arrangement. And he was totally unimpressed. And he was like, really? This, I, I don't think, I, I'm not inspired by this at all. I don't think I can make this work visually. And I'll do it if you want me to, but I don't think so. Can I offer a suggestion? Say, well, what's your suggestion? Instead of, you know, trying to do your circus through Great Showman, how about I do original music and we have a zombie circus show? I go, okay, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's try to come back to the drawing board. So, we were like, then, and then I thought, okay, maybe not a circus. How about we do a carnival? Carnival sometimes dark. And I, so I took a song from Great Showman. I took a... a a song from Pippin and another song. And I said, how about this? We can have a carnival show. And then they go, he goes, eh, again, I don't see carnival with this. I don't see visually what I, I am not inspired to do this. Uh, I don't know what we can really do with this. How about a zombie carnival? <laughs> and we said, no, I, you know, I think Dunlap actually did something dark like that a couple times ago, but so we're not into that. So uh, then we had a backup plan. And which was one of his shows that he wrote for Naperville. Um, and it was very successful. It was a 1920 Newsies type show. It's not necessarily the music from the movie, uh, movie Newsies, but it was, it was a wonderful, creative thing, uh, looking at the different sections of a newspaper. And we said, you know what, that was great. We all watched this show. It was super, great. We got that, and then that nice thing about that, even though it's original music, there's a lot of quotes from famous songs. And he goes, yeah, I just, I just last week, I promised another guy, a friend of mine, he's gonna get to do it next year, so I'd rather not have him do it. Great, but he said, I've got an idea that's not uh, circus or carnival, okay? And so we went to so the 2019 show, The Walking Dead, eight and a half minutes of zombies and Puccini, <laughs> which we said no to, even though now I'm starting to think about that's kind of a cool idea. That one I just added for a story effect, by the way. So, we were stuck. We started looking like, okay, should we do another classical show? Should we do a retread, another one? And then about a week and a half later, he comes and he goes, you know what, I think I've got an idea. And I think I've got a visual thing that can kind of go somewhat along what you're looking at. And that's, I talked to the staff about it, and that's kind of where we went. So for part of it, we are gonna go back to a little bit of rock music. Uh, we haven't done that in a little while. Um, and of course, rock from my era, or a little before my era. Stuff that like Strombie, Tilton, Kyle, uh, Tiny, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Kyle, that's actually Dr. Kyle Freeman, superintendent of everything awesome here at Washington High School. I'm not on a first name basis, it's just doctor, okay? Um, he would know these songs uh, and kind of combine this uh, to a new show. So. For 2019, uh, with our visual and stuff, we're doing our, our show this year is called Sideshow. Sideshow, and Sideshow, for those you who don't know, is, is kind of like uh, these extra shows or stalls at exhibitions, fairs, or circus. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. Of course, the students, I told them they would never know that song. Uh, us old timers kind of do, and that's going to open our show with a brass quartet, a drum feature. Uh, it is from Brain Salad Surgery, Emerson Lake and Palmer's Carnival Nine. First impression, second part. That's the one I told you you would never get, students. Okay, check it out. It is really awesome. I told the students there's parts in seven and things like that. It's kind of symphonic rock. It's pretty awesome. So again, feature quartet. Uh, and we feature uh, percussion, that one. Then the second movement, we're gonna feature uh, a vocalist or flute, and that's gonna be uh, Never Enough, and that's from The Greatest Showman as our ballad. And then the final, act three of our show, the entire band sings, 
There's a spiral part, and it's just a giant pulse to the end with what he had up vision-wise. And the ending to our show is The Greatest Show from The Greatest Showman. So we have a little bit of rock music, 70s, and we also have a couple tunes from The Greatest Show for this uh, next year. He has a visual, basically in the back, a bunch of uh, kind of giant posters to signify the sideshow, and some of the uh, marching moves sound pretty incredible. So I think you'll enjoy Sideshow 2019 Marching Panthers. <laughs> 